I, I was yes. I was just going. Okay. Uh, so um, what the question I had asked is that even though we've been hearing that the floods were actually expected, this is its season. In fact, there had been advisories, there had been warnings uh, that people should do everything they could to move uh, out of the channels. Um, but the extent was the extent of it surprising and the breach of the uh, one doesn't know how to present it now I mean to pronounce it now the Allah Dam but A-L-A A-L-A I believe is the spelling that that dam yes um, loud dam yes it, it, uh, we, we hear that its channel uh, has been breached uh, which means damaged um, is that the primary cause of this devastation or even if it hadn't been breached, might it have been fit for purpose, the dam? In other words, is the dam in any way blamable for this, um, uh, for, for this occurrence? Yes, uh, the situation we have at hand in Lao Dam, in Bruno, is um, though the dam, the integrity of the dam, for some time now, over 15 years, is, uh, the integrity is a little bit questionable. But uh, apart from that, the recent and current flooding there is due to excessive rain. And this rain uh, coming down from Mandara Hills, Mandara Hills, coming, flowing down to Sambisa Forest. And actually, Sambisa Forest slowed it down a little before okay. getting to the dam. So the dam is, is a small dam. The capacity cannot contain such an amount of water coming to it. So that is what caused the dam um, uh, failure. And um, all this is just... Um, it's due to the excessive rain, actually. Yes. And uh, yes. for us in NISA, we're supposed to monitor that place, actually. But because, of course, anybody in Nigeria now, if you hear something like Sambisa Forest, everybody know what comes to people's mind, security threats and things like that. These are the reasons why they have not been able to be adequate because of the security challenge around that place. And due to the excessive rain, on control coming to this small dam which has a technical issue already on ground so all this necessitated what is currently happening now mm. well, well well thank you for that um, uh, brief overview um it it almost looks like um as you said excessive rains um because i was going to ask that even if we had known that um the rains were going to be you know, as heavy as they have been, was there very much that we could have done? Now, you said that it has actually been observed, noted, that um, the Alao Dam, its integrity was not all that it, had could, that it could be over the past 15 years or so. Um, mm. What could have been done? Um, because the, it, it's like we've been reprieved. You know, we Nigerians are prayerful people. Uh, could it be that the power of prayers have sort of held us on over the past decade and a half that it has been known that this has been the case? Now, you said Sambisa Forest slowed down the onslaught of the floods, and that relates to something else that you experts talk about, the, the dangers of deforestation and uh, uh, places being yeah. built up that, were, that shouldn't have been built up, uh, Sambisa Forest. Forest has proved that in particular. Um, what, what, what do we do now after the immediate concern? As we all know, the president has ordered emergency you know, uh, attention to the area from all the relevant agencies. But what do we do beyond this? Because we hear that even a zoo in the center of, uh, of town uh, has been flooded. Uh, a correctional center you know, has been flooded. And um, this has led to, it is thought, escape, escapees from um, those institutions. So what, what do we do after this? I mean, we've been managing, as it were, for the past 15 years. So what, in the impression of uh, NISA, uh, needs to be done urgently, since emergencies don't usually, or do they, 
uh, sound advance notice of the occurrence? Yes. Uh, for us at NISA, Nigeria Geological Services Agency, we are charged with the responsibility of to, uh, to monitor the nation's uh, water I can hear you. The Please continue. Water resources and the nation's water resources. So for, for us, like uh, my DG is uh, unavoidably absent here today because yes. he's on another uh, in a meeting because okay. of this flood. As you will recall, the vice president. Okay, that's uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Umaru Ibrahim Mohammed. Yes, it's already by tomorrow. They will be in uh, in uh, Borono to mm -hmm. assess. Uh, what is on ground and what happens. So, but in immediate measures now is that a buffer, what is what we call a buffer dam, small, small earth dams that needed to be constructed so that in case of this kind of uh, scenario, the water can be channeled to such uh, buffer dams. So, the same thing is this is just uh, precipitation flooding, flash flooding. There is still river flooding, which is um, the major rivers we have in Nigeria, River Niger, and River Benue. And the waters that are coming from those, uh, entering Nigeria from those rivers are also, the water level are, is increasing. And uh, we have, uh, about two weeks ago, NISA issued a red alert to the nation and also a and ensure that the dam management along that uh, River Niger, Kanji Dam, and uh, Jeba Dam, were, they were in, adequately informed. But all what we are seeing now is rain, 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 precipitation, excessive rain within a short time. That is what is causing all this flooding. But temporary measures is to just create some... Uh, 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 hello, uh, are you, uh, okay, you were looking at the pictures, I imagine. Those are indeed uh, pictures of the vice president um, visiting uh, the scene of the dam. So, as you were saying, um, for a number of reasons, the dam, the Alao Dam, was overwhelmed. Um, it, you know, this is um, probably not the time for blaming or anything like that, but um, I don't know. The, the maintenance culture, uh, Nigeria uh, can be famous or infamous uh, yes, for its maintenance it's not too... culture. Yes. So, sorry, please continue. Yes. So in the month of August, just the last uh, previous month, 29 states have been affected and 154 local governments also have been uh, affected. And according to NEMA, what they have issued out already, 661,201 persons have been affected, and uh, we have 115,265 acres of farmland have also been lost. So when we look at all this, and we see that ideological services plays a major role in national security, as you have also rightly said just now, that correctional centers are also been flooded and you know the implication of that when inmates because of flooding when there is a jailbreak and they escape that's why we keep on saying that hydrological services play a pivot and important role in national security and that's why in NISA we prevent whereas in NEMA NEMA also kills and we know that prevention is better than cure so, national attention, federal resources should be adequately provided for a NISA to be able to carry out its mandate so that all these things can be forestalled. 